it's such a nice day today here in uh, Texas where you just want to not make any plans and go somewhere nice and enjoy the weather. Um, today, I'm gonna give my review of the movie Jackass. <clears throat> uh, Jackass Forever, that is. And, um, yeah, I uh, finally got to uh, a Tuesday movie yesterday. Kind of late in getting there. <clears throat> but it's uh, $6 Tuesdays. And I haven't uh, gotten to a uh, cheap movie on the screen in a while. I'll have to think of where the what the last movie that I saw was because I saw some familiar trailers that I'd seen before. Um, <clears throat> anyway. The <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Jackass Forever. I'm, I'm a fan of the TV show and the movies. I, I missed a few movies, but I actually have a few DVDs in my collection. Uh, one of the movies and one of the seasons of the show. <clears throat> and I still haven't seen at least one of the movies. Anyway, um... <clears throat> Wow, um, it just, the opening scene just set the tone of the movie for sure. And it's like, it was kind of uh, uh, confusing to make out just what this opening scene was all about. Because it... <laughs> it Anyway, um, the opening scene was, if you see the movie, you're not going to have seen anything like it in any other movie before, period. In movie history, um, <laughs> that I can say, but on the other hand, this movie is not for everyone, for sure. Um, I'm just flipping over this board because it has nails sticking up on the side. Anyway, that's better. Safe now. Okay. <laughs> uh, getting back to it. Um, this scene set the tone for the rest of the movie. But I got a caution. Uh, this is not for viewers of all ages. I was actually surprised at one point to hear a little kid crying in the back of the theater and it's some someone brought their kid to this movie. It wasn't it was a newborn. The mom and dad were out on a date and uh, yeah they brought the newborn along in a stroller. Uh, okay, so, fun, I mean, if you like to see, uh, crazy stuff, like crazy stunts, ju very juvenile stunts, um, juvenile behavior, uh, I won't want it. I wouldn't want to even say college age behavior. This is like teenage boy behavior. Um, and you do see a lot of full male frontal nudity. I, I just want to get that out there. Because, um, you know, I could, I could barely stomach... Um, the last movie, Jackass movie, that I saw when um, Chris Pontius consumed 
uh, a liquid derived from a certain animal. I That was almost too much for me. But that was uh, a few years ago. I think I've seen it all. <laughs> so, I mean, aside from being a little uncomfortable, um, which is, you know, the jackass thing. They got to push it to the next level, and they definitely did. Okay, so uh, you see a lot of great stunts. Um, uh, you know, a, a fra favorite uh, stunt of mine was Johnny Knoxville being fired out of the cannon as Icarus. <laughs> you know, um, that was a pretty cool stunt. He got some pretty good air. Um, I would have walked out to the fishing pier, but the wind uh, is kind of, I fear, messing with the audio quality. <clears throat> There's a bridge in, over there in construction, uh, Kima on this side, and... Um, only been there once or twice but it, it is an extreme bridge I don't like bridges anyway um, so one thing oh uh, the the Johnny Knoxville bull crash was in there where he got really hurt he got a really bad concussion and a broken wrist you see you see that in there but the one stunt I was really waiting for was the poopies which is a new cast member um, the jumping the shark stunt which went horribly wrong it wasn't in the movie I mean that's that's half the reason I came to see it and I was really shocked I did scoot to the bathroom uh, uh, two-thirds of the way through the movie. I don't think I missed it. Um, I missed the middle of the, the bear stunt. Um, <clears throat> so I don't think I missed the jumping the shark stunt. There was probably not too much to show, but the, long story short, Poopies, a new cast member, jumped I think on water skis or a, a wakeboard over a pen of sharks and he didn't quite get enough air and nose planted into the shark intest in infested uh, uh, area and he got bit and the way I heard it uh, he almost bled to death um, you know the shark hit an artery in his wrist and uh, if he didn't receive immediate care he might have bled out so uh, but that wasn't in the movie anyway uh, on a <laughs> I don't know how to rate this movie if you're a fan of Jackass, you won't be disappointed. And if you're an unsuspecting or new viewer uh, of any age to the Jackass franchise, you might find it shocking. Because it's, it's over the top. It's... I don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but uh, they do a lot of... <laughs> I don't, I don't know. A anyway, um, I enjoyed it. It was a little over the top, but uh, if you're a fan, like I said, you won't be disappointed. And uh, if you're a new viewer, beware. It might be far more than you're banking for. 
and you're going to see a lot of balls and uh, uh, full frontal nudity a lot. Like I said, I don't know what goes on behind the scenes there, but uh, who am I to judge, right? All right, this is Steve with your film review. <laughs> anyway, um, see you next time.